So we have come to the Old Zoo Natural Trails. Are you surprised, hon? Yes. <laughs> this is where the Old Zoo used to be. This is one of many paths. And because there was so much fire and, and everything was burnt up, there are those who say this place out here is haunted. Right now, they've, they've worked to remake the path, but we'll soon be coming up to where they keep, used to keep the animals. And that's where they say the hauntedness begins. So we'll see, but you can still see how some of the trees look scarred from being burnt and some are new, but this is the first trail we're taking. There's other people on the trail to go see this haunted zoo. We walked the, the trail with the cactus and everything else. Definitely feels heavy, the air. It feels, I don't know, it just feels odd. You can, you can kind of feel where work's been done, but where there's just a lot of sadness and death too. And looking at a <laughs> dying cactus doesn't help it. Br little bridge heading into the zoo and the stairs. They're kind of just carved into the ground, which is really cool. Really like the pathways. They're really neat. You can climb up there or use the stairs, whichever one you want to use. A little bit harder if you go up that way. Covered more pathways in different ways around. To different areas we're still heading up we're climbing up to the zoo <laughs> someone labeled a tree that's a nice tree that's really nice but we're going up all this is carved into the ground um, out of the rock so it's really neat if this place is haunted or not but it is so wrecked from the fire i believe this used to be part of the gorilla the gorilla nearly fell the gorilla enclosure and we'll go up higher to see but you can actually go through here and in here and look and see where these animals were which is pretty neat overall you hear me dragging as i walk it's almost like a little cave and then you can come out on this side so we're seeing more of what may have been the gorilla enclosure. My wife is taking photos for us. And it is just spooky cool. These poor animals though that, that burnt up here. So sad. And that's what they say may haunt this area. The spirit of the animals. Here's another part of what appears to be the gorilla enclosure. It goes off into a little cave area. I imagine this is where they did some eating, sleeping, mating. I don't know. But it's very spooky. I think this is more for a lion than it is. You think this is lions? Part of it looked like for gorillas, but maybe it lion, is lions. Mountain lion or some kind of cat. You can see where the heat literally twisted and melted the metal. And we have all this stone facing. It's really, really cool. <laughs> Pride rock, huh, honey? It's just really neat to see. You don't get to go into zoo enclosures in, in this world, but we are actually in what was either gorillas or lions or tigers or something, their actual home. Here is a rocky ledge. My wife's freaking out because I'm walking on it, but it's not bad as long as it doesn't crumble because then I'll die. But you can kind of see some of the trails from here. You can see where something was kept down there. I don't know if it was part of the same, in, the same like gorilla or what kind of closure it is i wish they still had some kind of labels on it they're trying to restore what they can and everything but it's been slow going i know that partially because people were scared about the haunted part i believe but you can kind of see everything from here you can still hear the freeway from here but it's a good view from here it's a really good view i just wonder what was kept here we keep reading about the history but details are not that that great as it burned down pretty close to being built and of course all the animals died come across some kind of old building it's obviously was fire ravaged burnt up completely in here well the structure stands but everything is burnt up but the structure still sound old fireplace it's really cool looking i do not know if this was like an information center or maybe an office 
this little part here held. I don't know if this might have been like a bathroom. I don't know. Hard to get around there. It's hard to believe it would be a bathroom. It was some kind of storage closet. I don't think this had a bathroom. But it's really neat. Here's some more shots of the front of it. Just really, really cool stuff to see this. Another abandoned building. And I think this is as far as we can go. Because there's a bridge, a dam. That I know that we can't go on. Because uh, we'll be arrested. And we're against that last part. <laughs> but we're okay right here. As you can see, while it doesn't look as fire ravaged, the fire must have hit it. And it is abandoned. And it is torn up. And I don't know. Um, I don't know what this building was used for. But this was like a little kitchen area. And there you can see other buildings that we're not going to get a chance to explore. But it's really just fire ravaged. Everything got destroyed in the fire. Kind of spooky, crazy. I've never really been into an, anything like this. It's very, very spooky feeling. This is the, we decided to get up closer. This, is, this was some kind of carport or something. And then you have this other burnt down wife's still taking pictures burnt down burnt out building and we're kind of hurry now because we don't want to disturb anybody we don't know what the uh, limits are here or exactly how far we can go in but also just destroyed but the building's still standing this doesn't look as fire ravaged it's like maybe over time it was abandoned or maybe it, it got some some fire damage and then was just kind of let go, you know, just to stand. There's an actual bathroom here. Another little building over there. It, it's spooky, it really is, because people used to live here. This was one time going to be a huge zoo and a major attraction. So it's spooky. The lion or gorilla or whatever enclosure that was, we've gone out of that. We found, we found Spider Rock Trail, which we're not going to do today just because... Rattlesnakes are out right now. It's that time of day they'll be out. There is plenty of rocks from the hide under their dens and stuff. We don't have heavy boots on. We should have, but we didn't. So we're not really prepared for this part of the trail, to be honest with you. But it's really neat looking. And you see the trail. I hate that you can still hear cars, but the freeway's that loud. But they built the zoo right off the freeway, you know, so that they could pull people in. But it's just really neat looking, I think. And definitely a trail we're going to try in the future. I don't know how well you can see it, but there is a massive, and now I've lost them in the sun, but a massive hawk flying above us. Just beautiful. Found another path to go down. So far, you know, I can understand what people are saying, that they can kind of feel like the dead animals out here. It hadn't felt amazingly haunted or anything to us, but I imagine this is absolutely spooky and creepy at night. But the path has actually been built back up, or it withstand the fire. And it may have been just withstand the fire, because I do see burn marks and everything. But I also know they've been working on it a little bit. But so far, this has been super cool. We're going to follow the path up and see what kind of other uh, enclosures we find, besides the lion or gorilla or whatever that was. What may have been a wishing well, the piping is still intact. Or maybe it's been replaced. I don't know. They have been doing a little bit of work out here. But I'm pretty sure this used to be a wishing well. And everything. It's, it's got a cool little painted rock down in there. And here's a broken up bench. It didn't uh, survive the fire too well. And the tree has regrown here to take some of the bench away. But I just think it's really cool. We're still on the path. We're going to see what we can find. It looks like that one enclosure is all that's left. It was quite spooky looking. There's some hard trails to come out here and some easy trails. Some of these you really need heavy boots, heavy pants. We're not going to go on those trails, but what did you think? I loved it. I thought it was amazing. And it's a great exercise whenever you're going all up and down the trails. It's did you, awesome. Did you feel like it was haunted or spooky? Um, I got spooky in some parts, like the actual yeah, enclosure was spooky. it wasn't like a haunted spooky. It was like there was something here. Spooky, yeah. you know? And well, is it me, still that, here? Kind of spooky. Well, to me, that is a haunted kind of spooky. Spooky is a is the quote unquote spirits of the animal still lingering. 
it's just horrible to think that those animals burned up but i think that's all they had, had built when it caught fire but we'll have to do more research but uh i think it was a great time what do you think i think it was awesome would you recommend <laughs> coming to old zoo trails it would be a 10 for me awesome <laughs>